Welcome, my viewers and my listeners to the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. This is Pastor Florence. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for the privilege of sharing this word. I also want to take this opportunity to thank you for the time you take to listen, to watch, to practice what you learn, to share with other people, and even to learn from me. My weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday. I bring you inspiration word, and Wednesday we have the moment. Thursday celebrating in the kitchen because what we put in this body is of importance because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend because you and I are accountable, are responsible. We need on, to put on the gear of integrity, of serving God with our diligence. Saturday, Sunday, I take a break so that you can go to your home church. For those who go to church on Saturday, I respect you. I respect your belief. That's good, so that you can have time to go to your place of worship. If you go to Sunday on Sunday, yes, do the same. So you are covered the entire week. What a blessing. And I've counted a blessing. And I'm all forever grateful to God and humble before him to be bringing this word. People ask me, how do you do it, Pastor Florence? And I want to say, whenever God gives you an assignment, it comes with a package of grace. That's why there is even a song I've sung about the grace of God that uh New Tugi New Tugi New Tugi Wangai on a Ukoromo being alive today. Ukoromoya Mode Nature New Tugi Wangai Hey It's by grace, it's by grace, it's by grace of the Lord. Ninema, 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 Ya Buana. I'm going to be continuing with uh, nurturing what you birth or nurturing what was birth because we are still in the month of October. We are almost to the middle of October. I want to remind you, rewind your memory about September. What was birthed in your life? If it was not, if nothing happened, the good thing with our God is a God of a second chance. It's never too late for you. He can do it again for you, but you have to desire and pray to him. We're going to start with a word of prayer. I'll be basing my sharing from the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, First Peter chapter 5, verse 8 and 9, and then Genesis, uh, uh, Genesis chapter 1, uh, verse 28. Let's start with a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you. I want to bless you for the gift of life, for saving me, for giving me the opportunity to teach your people and to mentor and to encourage. As I do this, Lord, I'm humbled. May the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart, Lord, be pleasing to thee. I pray that I may decrease as you increase. I lift you higher because you said if you are lifted up, you shall draw men unto yourself. Do only what you can do. And at the end of it, my Savior, you shall receive all glory and all honor. For you said you'll never share your glory with any man in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Yeah. Nurturing what was birthed. Part two. Let me read uh, Colossians 3, uh, verse 16. I'm going to read. My main reference today will be New Living Translation. Is what it says. Read the message about Christ. In no richness, fill your lives. Teach and counsel each other with all the wisdom he gives. Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful heart. I have to read from New King James Fashion. You hear what it says. Let the word of Christ dwell in new literature in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Hallelujah. First Peter 5, 8. I'm reading from New Living Translation. Stay alert. There is exclamation mark there. Watch out for your great enemy, the devil. He prowls aloud like a roaring lion, comma, looking for someone to defy. Verse 9. Stand firm against him. 
and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. Genesis 1, 28. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. My brother, my sister, being that we are in the month of October, it's good we remember September. September was the birthing month. And I want to challenge you, if nothing came out, if nothing was birthed in your life, it's the high time you tell, Lord, remember me. Revive me again, Lord. Let something be birthed in my life. Because naturally what was birthed caused for you. I want, I'm going to uh, give you three points. You must stay a rat at all times. And that's why I led 1 Peter 5 8. Number two, you must choose your friend wisely. You can never nurture what has been birthed in you with the entire world, they'll break you apart. You must choose your friends wisely. They are, remember, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs, they are friends who pre pretend to be friends, but there is one who stick closer than a brother. It is my prayer that as you nurture what was birthed in the last month of September, that you have friends who are real friends. You know, there are some friends who act like a million. They are green. When they go to green environment, they will change. They will talk with you like they are angels. The next things will be behaving like demons. It's my prayer that God will help you to choose your friends wisely so that you can nurture what God has helped you to birth in the month of September. Point number three. You must assess yourself regularly. How you are doing. You ask yourself regularly. How am I doing? Self-check yourself regularly. Because even when a woman conceives, the, it starts with missing the monthly period. It can happen. And then you wait for the second month. You go for the testing. For the pregnancy test. And then after that, you start the morning sickness. My brother, my sister, you cannot nurture what was bad if you just say like nothing has happened. You must assess yourself. Where am I? Where am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? Where did I start? Where am I now? What am I supposed to be doing? You map your progress. And you can't do that unless you, you assess yourself regularly. And having friends who are real friends, like David had Jonathan. Like Mary had Elizabeth. Like Elisha had Elijah. Like, John the, like Jesus had John the Baptist. Like Esther had Mordecai. Those are all mentors. And I love to mentor. I was mentored. I've been mentored continuously. At my age, yes, I do have mentors who speak words of grace to me. God bless you. I want to repeat those points again. You must take your time very uh, oh, sorry, that is the last time I had said that. I, maybe I, I'm going to recap on that. But let me uh, read this, this point for today. For part two. The point again, uh, you must be a rat at all times. How a rat are you? You can never be a rat if you just wake up and go. Mm. You have to spend time with your maker. You have to spend time digging into the word of God. You have to spend time thanking God. You have to spend time making the word of God do a in you. That's why I read Colossians 3, verse 16, which I'm going to read again. Hallelujah. Read the message of Christ. Let the word of God do a in you. Mm. You must not be poor in the word of God. Remember when Jesus, after he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, the devil tempted him. The first temptation was about food. The devil will always tempt you with the need that he knows you have. If it's money, huh? he'll bring money. There is a song I sang a long time. Uh, that when you get that, you know, uh, when temptations come, I, I, the, the, the devil will bring things like it's a miracle. Or 
We oke mwadani maida ini mode Withina na gutare mwe oke We geke no nake hawe mwe hokage Mwadani we nega i goshe de Shaitani di kosi ni onete jira hudu Ya kugeri ya liamore ni mwadani Arare he madena maiki muno mabesa Ware he ruo maki ukoiga We ruo hoe ruo nairi ya ukoiga De oni mwadani We must get the word of God richly in us In an individual manner You must have a personal treasure of the word of God in your life Because when Jesus was tempted with the first temptation of food after being Hungry, he said, man shall not live by bread alone. Mm. You must be a rat, rat. You must let the word of God dwell richly in you so that you'll be able to overcome. You must assess yourself regularly. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't go to school and you don't do the midterm. You don't do, you know, mock exam. You don't do those tests that come online to test yourself whether you are ready for the board exam. My brother, my sister, you are going to frop and you are going to lose your money because that examination money will not be refunded. You must ask, you, we must assess ourselves even as we grow old. I can't start saying at age 60, I'm on 60 frop plus. And this is the time I'll be trying to do my investment. If I'm late, God will give me the grace. But if you are late carelessly, you are gonna be in for it nurturing what was bad you must as an individual stand knowing that you have to be around at all times the devil does not sleep he's what 24 7 for your downfall that's why you have to be guard on guard you have to put on the whole armor of god according to the book of ephesians 6 10 i keep on you know quoting the word of god because Tiga mane kiwo kia gai. Hey, I will not be where I am. Ne no rita si mama ramugu. Ne no rita si mama ya uri. Mwengu ya tapita. Rakini ne no rita si mama. Utajiri wako utaisha. Umari dadi wako utaisha. Ya uri. Mwe guya tapita, rakini ne no rita si mama. Because the word of God will stand. Will endure forever. You must have that word in you. God has exalted his word above his name. <coughs> and that's why when you pray, pray according to what the word of God says. If you are praying, Decree and decree Psalms 91 for your protection. Decree and decree Psalms 24. The enemies will swallow me alive. When you feel sick, you must declare the word of God according to the book of Isaiah 53. That by his stripes we have been healed. He heals all our sicknesses. I want to pray that you desire to nurture what has been put, what has been bugged in your life. What is that troubling you? The word of God covers it. The word of God covers it. Inspired others covers when they tell you fear not. When I'm preaching and I feel that I'm attacked, I have to start firm and be a rat and say, God, God is still on the throne. The book of Isaiah says, fear not. And Pastor Florence brings you this book, fear not. When you feel lonely, the Lord says he'll be with you. You nurture your loneliness with the word of God. When you are forsaken by your dear ones, by your siblings, by your parents. 
you nurture yourself with the word of God by quoting Psalms 27 10 when my mother and my father forsake me the Lord will lift me up as a woman young forsaken in your youthful age in your marriage you nurture yourself from the word of God hey I better read that one from the word of God in Isaiah 54 hi you know some of these things we read I, you know when I share and when we want to read it there's a word like that this one for bear with me even if I'm gonna take a bit, bit of time I have to read it huh this was it says this is Isaiah 54 mm -hmm. do not fear for you will not be put be ashamed neither be graceful for you will not be put to shame for you will forget the shame of your youth and you will not remember the reproach of your widowhood anymore. Verse 5. For your maker is your husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and your redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. He called the God of the whole, he is called the God of the whole earth. For the Lord has called you like a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit like a youthful wife when you are refused says your God hallelujah that is Isaiah 54 and it starts by saying sing O barren that's a woman who have not given birth let the word of God fill you nurture you what was birthed in you and encourage yourself you have many more children in the spiritual realm Nurturing what has been bad, part two. I just want to read at that time the three points, and I'm going to be done. And it's my prayer that you desire to nurture what has been bathed in you in Jesus' name. Hey, one, stay a rat. Mm -hmm. You must stay a rat. You must be a rat. Not once, at all times. With the word of God, in prayer, in praise, in service, in giving. Two, you must choose your friend wisely. Not everyone who declares to be a friend is a friend. I know it. Everywhere. Be it at home. Be it at places of work. Even in ministry. You, it will call for that man and that woman who seeks wisdom and the spirit of discernment through prayer to know your friends. Some of them might have started as good friends, but along the way, the enemy used them, like we know about Judas. Judas was among the twelve that were chosen, but he betrayed Christ. There is always a Judas in your life. There are Judases in our life. We can't deny that. So we have to choose our friends wisely, but you can never be able to choose wisely if you are not a woman of prayer, if you are not a man of prayer. Last point. You must learn to assess yourself regularly. Self-check yourself regularly so that you know where have I gone wrong? Where have you come off track? And then you come back to God. Because the word of God tells us in the book of 1 John, if you confess our sins, he is faithful and just forgive us. But if you say you have not sinned, you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you and you call God a liar. May the Lord God help you, me and you, to nurture what has been bad as we continue in this, this month. If I, the Spirit of God leads me to do part three, I will do it for your sake so that you continue to nurture what has been bad. If you did not bad anything, if nothing was bad, pray it to God and he will renew your strength. I thank God for the woman of God, Shiroa GP. After five days when she launched it, I listened to it and it was my my ride. Hey. That I was going through stuff. Look at Kena, Miakai Kumi, Namoka, Natawa Kete, Miakai Kumi, Bere. This year, 2024, when I sing that song, I sing it that way. Namoka, Kata Wakit, Namoka, Natawa Kete, 2014. I am living like I'm in 2014, and God has been doing good. Nature, what has been bad in Jesus' name. Father, I have given your word. Holy Spirit, water it to bear fruit of encouragement, of mentoring, of, en 
of lifting up and equipping for your second coming. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, it's you as an individual who have to stand firm to nurture what has been birthed, birthed in your life. So, you are there. The starting point is receiving Jesus in your heart. You are there. You know yourself that you've never said yes to Jesus. I'm speaking to you. If you're that person, to be able to nurture something, for one, Christ must be the Lord in your life in a personal way. You can't do it as a multitude. It has to be personal. So if as you do want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I've heard your word. I've never given your life to, my life to you. Now I come. I repent of my sin. I bring the baggage of sin to you. Lord, forgive me and write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually and to confess about you and to declare of your goodness without fear or shame. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Start walking in the newness of life. But two things are important. Testimony of what has happened. The Bible says in the book of Revelation, they overcame by the word of their testimony and by the power of the blood of the Lamb. Look for a home church. Do not neglect to meet together as is the habit of some to encourage each other as the days draw near. That's according to the book of Hebrews. So you need that. And as I wind up, you remember to celebrate every moment. Not just celebrating, but celebrating it with joy irrespective of the surrounding circumstances. Why? Because every moment you are breathing in and breathing out matters. And remember to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Share with other people. Practice what you learn. Pray for me. EGR. Extra grace required. So that I'll be able to live. This message is going to be free and free. Without shame. And with all you just say. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Let's go. Remember. Nature. For a bad. In you. Back to Monday. By staying alive. By having the word of God written and by assessing yourself regularly. Thank you.